Well, folks, we're back again. It's Saturday and it's 10 to 7. Just settle. New venue today. Stephen's around there. It's very overgrown. I had to do a bit of work there to get our rods out. But we're out now. So let's see what today brings us. See if we can get a big peak. I've barely any room to move about. Like, if I get a peg on and be very, very careful to lean up the water, I'll just show you. So, the trolley gear there hanging up the tree. It's very, very tight. I even had to hang my landing mat up because it's that tight. So, that's the kind of space I've got there. Right out onto the lake. Very, very tight. I'll just take you around the chocolate, man. Good morning. You've been here all night? What? You've been here all night? I just thought we had to contend with this morning. I near feel like again. Summertime, has everything grown? See the joys, mate. The joys. And if young comers uh, dead pit rod, I've made a few or corn rod there. Steve Rose, are. Just through the weeds. Ah, it's gone. The reeds, even. So that's it. That's it. It was hard getting down here this morning, lad. Yes, it was, but we're here. On. <laughs> I'm a real protector of the air. Cut myself already. Did he? Oh, let's see. Yeah, them reeds. Breaking them over. I see all the space I've got right now. I know, but just Stay. watch her. Just watch her real pod, doesn't get pulled in the way you made it last week. No. Oh. There it was. You're lucky. Yeah. Get your beard on as well? Aye. Aye, yeah. That's a weed, mate. That's a weed. Well, I've had sat so fine there at the, the cutters. Mm -hmm. And the plate, and I just strike it inside the beard. Tell you what's going on. Yep. It should just call me consistent Stephen. You know, with all these fake hand cats in. Oh, <laughs> my goodness, wow. Well. What? You love it. That's a big one. This is a catch of fish. Not all the time, but you'll get fish. You know, you be like me, you get blank, then catch, then go through a stage of blanket again. I don't mind though, it's getting out, having it off. So you'll see, I got myself on these suit last week, guys. Unreal, 49 quid, pro logic. Angling direct on the pink seal. So get their sails on it. Because you know your sails are somehow moved very quickly and you've got head double the cost. So we're going to be shooting the England Direct. Not that they're sponsored David or me, but how do you want to see me three quid, won't it? Aye. Oh, you check him? Oh, no, no. Oh, sweet, aye. Oh. David says that I rip them coming down the bank, but... Oh, sweet. Just say, come on over there. Ha 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 ha. Couple of summer cells. So get your cells on it. Have a look at it. Check it out. See if it's self for three quid. 60 quid or 70 quid for a suit or anywhere. Mm -hmm. Stop promoting eBay. Or it's not eBay, yeah. It's angry direct. I don't even know we owned it for that English company, but here. Yeah. You're hopping out angers. That's what this town's about, guys. Promoting other people. Right. I don't know what we think he made this week. His man's mental health. No. So. Yep. That's just good. 
fear of all about getting out just to get that a wee plug as it's well. It's good for your soul to get out yeah. fishing. No, it's good for the head, mate. Mental it fitness. Is. I've done a wee plug there and mental fitness for work. You might or might not see it online. It's just about getting out. Mm. Uh, appreciating the, the beauty it's all around us. Sometimes I don't see it because we're caught up in other things. But there you go. So I'm hoping here, David, is actually going to... No, hold on. I, I see last week, folks. I didn't video it. I videoed the the end product. It was lovely. I have to say, yeah, I done all the cooking, all the tea, yeah. all the coffee. Sorry. So you did, mate. But I was too busy to have to do And I got myself on the match for a few hours, wasn't it? That's a good job, that thing. Anyway, just stick it in the back of the door. Sorry. And I got a wee sling too. It's a wee sling. Well, I'm hoping we'll have. We'll get a chance to use it this morning. Don't get some more. Uh, it's not as good as yours, but it's still got a face on there. Okay. It holds a face. And uh, wet. So, I mean, you're not getting much face. That's about too much. You're not getting much more face. You'd see the real active steel, the real steel, mate. They weren't that great. I left them in the house, but they're always hammers as far as the real active ones are. The real active ones are there on. So, remember, you thought they were, they were off. What I got? Yes. I'll wear a wee bag of potatoes and see if it's very much, but the touch for a place today was like a pretty nice. You can yeah. swing and see if it is it, but it was on the moment. So it's almost handy. So I'm hoping we'll touch for a nice place today. And if not, the company's good, and that's what's about. Fish car, you see, looking after your fish. Yep. Everyone should have a mat. Like we were doing, and that we just last week, and there was a wee dog. What what way would you recommend this fish was? Easy seventeen. Easy seventeen. He didn't have no landing mat, and it's just well he went down because he was gonna pull the hook right out of its mouth. Had no clue. And that's unfortunate. You know, do a bit of research on YouTube. That's what it's there for. Shows you how to de the fish, go in through the gill, get your hooks out without damaging or hurting the fish. We want to get it sorted. And then when you've got that down to the tee, then you should have no problem out fishing. Mat, net, sling, and been able to take a hook out. That's what it's all about. Fish care. A good set of flowers, so everybody's different. And a good set of force ups. You need a good set because the least centers are right, everybody does everything. But the other day, they're really quite robust. And, I know, know, but everybody does their own thing, but a wee bit of research before you start fishing, know, if you don't know anything. I know, I know. Well, it was good to help me because I was able to get the trace sorted. And, you know, the fish was put back into the water. Um, it's about 17 pounds. Easy, man, that's a good effort. Can you imagine uh, if you had them in there? He had a rip the throat out of it, killed it, probably. But uh, they've been back in anyway, so hopefully uh, a more good angler would catch it. Maybe a PB for somebody. No. Okay, a PB for you. Have you already got 17? Well, this year. Yes, it would be nice, man. What's your PB at the moment? 13. Uh, 13 and a half, wasn't it? Oh, something like that. I'm anticipating. Well, I was supposed to say last week, yeah, I wasn't too far off. A couple of times here, yeah, but. I don't know. Yeah, well. Just getting out. I just love getting out. Yeah, but I catch fights all the time, you know. You know? This month, last year. I think it was the 20th. I landed. Right. Big right. 20. Wow. Big fish. So let's see if this small fish here can pull me in another 20 plus even. Yeah. And that was before. We'll have to hit that more each bad mate. Maybe. Maybe. Hit that over the next week. Yeah. Um, no, I hear next week. But I'm fishing next week. I picked the week and a half off. Uh, next week it's my daughter's birthday. Ah, uh, yours next And then we're away Sunday. Oh, you're away for holiday? We're away Sunday to fight. Oh, I yes, sir. We're away. Sunday. But I'm thinking, you're not going out next weekend? No. 
No. And maybe put that oil in there, you know? Oh, why not? Yeah. I'm telling you, you know, it's like... Oh, I don't. ...in the trade zone, so... Why, if that's all right? Yeah. Now, where we were last week, a lot of people... Took an anecdote, did you? No, I'm not... A lot of people do fish it because a lot of people commented on my Facebook and YouTube and they had fished it before and said they were surprised it was still producing good peak. Which is a good thing for people to say that. I would think that it has been producing. So hopefully it's kept the way it is. There was a bit of rubbish about vodka battling off looking in the water, but the most of it was teddy, wasn't it? Yes, it was, man. There was a bit of rubbish, but not, not a lot for the size of it, which is a good thing. So hopefully the people up where it is, situated, keep it clean, keep all the hoodlums out, stop them drinking at the weekend, and keep it keep it a nice place for the public as well, because it's a good up place where you take your dog in out there and walk around yourself with your kids in it. Yep. Look, as I said, Tilly, in terms of the, 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 added, the added benefit of, of we lakes and dogs and just getting out in the country is it's good for a soul. I think we were down here last year, weren't we? Yeah. And we were over the other part of this, this lake and the amount of rubbish was terrible, wasn't it? Well, it was really of dog food and all, not even open. Ah, it was tactic. Bags and bags of friggin' bottles of beer, tins of beer. And that's one of the no ball fat, like. That's one of the other benefits I think of coming to be places like this. Yes, it's a wee bit of a, a hike and you have to go through and there's a couple of weeds there, it's not as clear as it would be, but don't know something. That's all about the exciting time. They see if they see if one of us catch a face here and it gets off. So I know something, that's what the sport's about. Yes, it'd be nice to land it and Christian that out Matt there and the age <laughs> but, but they want to know something. Anybody who had the space knows. That's what it's about. If the face gets off, I'll be here. It's a bit of crap. You know? But uh, yeah. hopefully the uh My attitude is the fish getting off. If you have it on, it's a bit of a bummer, but in hindsight, see if you to bother de hooking and all, pulling it through the weeds and what have you. So but hopefully the fish is away, back out of water. Yeah. Happy enough. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Ready getting the cat long, chocolate? How are we couple of Bobby folks bring us back? Give it to see in that uh to see my uh rod play book where yes. there's a big packet in the side of it full of a big bag of coffee grab it. Stephen fish on. Well, mate. We check. Hey. Oh, lovely.
Good sand though, good sand. Well folks, as you've seen there, got a good run. Uh, spat the hook. I had a run before that, just didn't get the camera on. I also spat the hook, so good sand. Steve's had a good run there as well. Spat the hook. This one. We score one on. Well folks, we're just driving one down to the fourth now. Steve and the cameraman didn't know how to hit the score. So, no pretty so when he says you're on, when it's on. See if it had a recorded and a and a and a stamp it there, I've been cracking up. Well back out for another one. was back when I kept on on and this time I pressed record. Now well, folks we moved down there the road, put the privy up. It's starting to get a bit a bit what they like and the rain was coming on there so we're in here at that road. Can I get protection? And I don't want to get my hair because I'm not going to Oh see you don't want to get us for a wreck. Yeah. What? You mad? I'm mad. Let's see your hair. Well, I don't know my hair. I don't know. I don't know. Get my hair cut once a week. Yeah. There's a big Italian cut, man. Aye, oh, Gillette. Gillette. Don't have my cigarettes, man. Why? Yeah. Well, folks, as I said, these are had a big fish on, like four pounds. You know what actually happened? See when I get up and said I'm on, I hit the court. Oh, and you snapped it off. Oh, so the deer fell there and you blame me earlier. So there's no footage of it unfortunately, but that's where it is. See these here? Let me see this. Maybe the same one as I did. Coffee. There's nothing we should have. Well, so we're 
sitting waiting for our papers to go. They're just there. There's a good smart night on. I made a big clearance for me made to come around. So we can sit together and press the gallery because one of us were away around the arm, one of us were in the arm. It was kind of boring, wasn't it? Well, there was a lot of the information. A lot of things. You already lost one fish because of the reach. So, we both out the gallery right here. Let me put the baby up there or something. I know. <laughs> well, at least here with search rate, I'm going to be alright. You can learn it anyway. Twenty-four. Oh, four now. Get it back out. Is it better take Davidson? Keep your rod up, relax.
Yep, head on. Well caught, or well held. <clears throat> Come on, here let the camera see it for Avalon this time. Yeah, let's see, come out there late because you can't see it, you're very dark. Nice sweet Jack, nice it's clean, set a mark in his face. No. A blow tie? No. No, happy days, lovely. That's a leech, like. Uh, I land on the bottom, you see. Good job, David. Okay, yeah. Yes! And he loves it. That's a saga one, guys. At least I hit record. Happy days. It's a one day! Sausage, you have an ant, four, four. Ah, I won't be like you. Wanna enjoy this here, big bad boy? Steve's getting a wee hit here. Ian? Ah. You? Happy days! Hey folks, this is long overdue. Do you want me to kill it? What's happening there? Give me your own name.
Yeah, we're just going to go ahead. Well done, Stephen. Yep, happy days. Check it out, come on, mate. Woohoo! Big pleasure. Well, happy days, mate. Nice fish. David's in there straight away, too. No, to leave it. No, I'm not there. Well, folks, that's us. We're going to call it a day. It is five o'clock. Yep. Had a good day. Two peak, Stephen and one. Lost a couple, both of us did. So, all in all, good day. Rain for a bit there, but we're all right. It wasn't too bad. And we're about to go, and it's perfect weather. The wind's the way down, and the lake's calm. Bit of movement in it, which is good. So, pack it up, heading out. See you next time. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Take care.